An appeal to the Inter-American Human Rights Commission by Faculty of Law Professor Rosemary Bell Antoine revealed that Trinidad and Tobago has the second highest remand population in the region, second only to Haiti, with some 60% of prisoners on remand. Commissioner of Prisons Jared Wilson spoke with TTT News on the matter. He said he had met with the Faculty of Law before they went to the IAHRC. There are a number of issues that we face when inmates remain in the remand at that length of time. In fact, I told them that if, if you have an inmate there, particularly those charged for murder, who would remain sometimes 10 to 14 years because the matter in the low court and then the matter in high court. My issue with that is that programming is really designated for the convicted inmates. But in our unique situation in Trinidad and Tobago, I feel that we have to start focusing programming on the remanded inmates. He also said the effect on family and the follow-on consequence for society are severe. That length of time also does something to family. So you're looking at leaving a family out there, whether it's male or female, for a period of 10 to 14 years. So you're looking at the disintegration of the family, the fact that you have a number of divorces, you have, of course, infidelity may step in, and then what about the children? And then there we have the cycle, because if... We have those inmates incarcerated for that length of time. Then the children don't know them. And that is why we, we try as much as possible to encourage children visits and family visits so that there would be this constant connection.